Okay, so there's really no comparison between the Microsoft Surface, Surface Laptop Studio and the new M1 Pro MacBook 16 inch, but the reason I'm comparing them is since the Surface Laptop Studio is an all-in-one device that my daughter and I could use for amateur drawing and I could use for my business for presentations, what I was wondering is, can I use a 16 inch as a dedicated rendering device? So in this test, I'm gonna run a few different tests. In this specific video, I'm going to be testing Handbrake to see how well the processor does at compressing video files because that is very important when you have 4K files. So let's go ahead and test out Handbrake. And then in future videos, we'll test out uh, rendering. I use PowerDirector, DaVinci Resolve, sometimes Adobe Premiere, but not often. And we'll just give you the results as we can in between our busy. All right, now we're going to go ahead and do a handbrake test, which is going to compress the same 4K video file. It's a 3.7 gigabyte file to a 4K web preset on both laptops, then I'm going to do the same thing on my desktop. So let's see what happens. So right now we're seeing about double the frame rate on the compression or the conversion so we're seeing about 132 frames per second versus 65 frames per second that's amazing uh, this is basically double the performance but it should be because uh, the surface laptop is a the surface laptop studio is a four core processor and we got 10 cores on the m1 so that's the M1 Pro, not the M1 Max. So we would probably even get more performance, but this is a $2,500 model versus a $2,100 model on the Surface Laptop Studio. So it's still a, a good test to see. And as we can see, slowly moving up here. So it says elapsed time and time remaining so it looks like the surface laptop studio is going to finish in about five minutes and 35 seconds based on this and we have let's see here this says it's 75 percent complete it doesn't say it says eta in 32 seconds not sure how long it's been i think We've been going for about two minutes. So it looks like it's going to complete in about half the time. 16 more seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. And complete. So that completed in approximately wow two minutes two and a half minutes and the microsoft surface laptop is going to take about five and a half minutes and we can actually look at the logs for this file to give you the exact number activity Okay, so let's see here. As you can see, it says logical processor count 10. Well, you can't see that, but that's what it says. And it started at 33.28. Let's see the exact time it started.
So on the Surface laptop, it looks like we're going to finish in about 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So this started at 2035, finished at 2038. So it took three minutes approximately. And we were going at about 130 frames per second. And the Surface Laptop Studio is going at about 58 frames per second right now was as high as 65 frames per second. Okay, surface Laptop studio is almost done. We have 15 more seconds and it's at five minutes and 20 seconds. And the surface laptop took five minutes and 38 seconds, five minutes and 38 seconds for the Surface Laptop Studio. Again, this is a four core processor. It's obviously hotter, similar frequency, but the Mac processor has more instructions per clock, so it's faster and it has more cores. So that the Mac finished in three minutes, Surface finished in five minutes and 30 some odd seconds. So, double, almost double the performance, almost, um, what is that? So that was a good test. And it looks like the Alienware desktop finished the same handbrake test in three minutes and 55 seconds. So the M1 16 inch M1 Pro, not the M1 Max, is beating the i7-10700 with a 2080 Super. Um, we're going to have to bring out the big guns to see if we can find anything faster at the same price point. There are faster desktops at the same price point, but they're desktops as far as laptops. I think we can get really close on a laptop or we will be at least as soon as Alder Lake comes out in uh, three months or so, the laptop version. But we shall see. We'll keep on testing.